guys and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here. So today we're giving this bad boy a makeover. So get, get a good look at her. Um, she's, well, I've neglected her. Okay. Let's just, let's just say that because I still have, um, let's see. I still have August in here. Um, if you are familiar with my channel, you'll probably know by now that I'm the type of planner that um, the reason that I have to have either disc bound, uh, ring bound, something where I can remove the pages is because once a month is over, I want it gone. I want it out of my planner that I use, um, but I don't throw it away. I keep it and I have uh, other sets of discs that I put it on. So um, as each month goes by, I'll just kind of start to... Uh, take the months out, put them on another set of discs, um, and then at the end of the year, I have my finished planner. So that's, yeah. So she needs to be updated is the point. So I figured that uh, I would give her a nice makeover today. And I got the Honey Bee Shop Blush Baby Babe Box. Ooh. And I'm really excited to um, use this stuff. I'm going to make this kind of like the the theme of this planner for now. Check that out. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Anyway, okay. I thought that this particular babe box um, would be perfect for my social media planner because it's a little more neutral um, than, you know, what I would like in my catch-all planner. I think it's freaking gorgeous, um, and I think that it would just look really good for my social media planner. I think it'll be it'll be perfect. So this might bother you, and I apologize, but you will notice that all the accents for this babe box are rose gold. My discs are gold. I'm sorry, like if that bothers you, I'm I truly apologize because it does bother me a little bit. Um, but I don't have any more discs right now that are expanders. I really wanted to have hi D. I really wanted to have expander discs on this planner. Um, and so these are the only ones I have that aren't being used right now. So we're gonna have gold discs with rose gold accents. And if that if that bothers you, um I'm sorry. I will I will eventually get some new discs. I may even end up just getting black. Um, I just don't have any more expander discs right now that aren't being used. So just wanted to point that out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by, obviously, um, since I'm giving this a makeover, I'm going to take everything out. And we're just going to kind of start over. Now, as far as the cover and the back cover... <laughs> Um, I'm not going to be removing all these stickers. Um, I really like the way it looks. I'm just redoing the inside. So, I'm going to start by taking her apart. All right, so now we are at our inside back cover. So we are ready to go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the cover back on, actually. And I'm going to take this stuff out of the pockets for now. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave that in now or move it to my B6. Which is, if you don't know, um, my B6 Traveler's Notebook is what I use for memory keeping and journaling and mood tracking. And it's where I uh, keep a lot of my cute stuff. All right. Now we got the covers and we are ready to go. So basically I'm just going to decide, because I haven't really um, decided yet, what I want to do with these beautiful papers. Now as far as the acetate and vellum, so this is the acetate and this is the vellum. Um, I really like to use acetate and vellum in my B6. So I'm really torn. Like, do I want to cut this down and use it like just as a divider? Um, it's, I don't know. I'm kind of torn. So I'm not sure yet. I'm going to, I'm going to put these to the side. Um, I'm a little protective of my acetate and vellum. 
And as far as these, oh, they're so pretty. Hmm. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, it's not quite tall, well, actually, actually it's just the right height. So first I'm going to decide which papers I want to use and I'm going to use them just for decoration and as dividers. Um, and I probably am going to end up putting tabs on them. I have some little stick on tabs. Um, they're just, they're downstairs and I don't feel like going to get them right now. But, and I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but I will probably end up just putting like little tabs on them so I can flip to them easily. But I'm just going to choose the ones I want for now. I'm not going to use all of these. Um, I really like this one. I think I'll just use one of each because you get, you get two of each of these patterns. So I think I'm going to use all three of them. And so for now, I'm going to just set this to the side and I'm going to set this to the side as well. I'm just not sure yet. And what I'm going to do, this is a arc uh, divider, and I'm using this to kind of judge uh, what size I need to trim this down to. And so for this one, all right, so I'm just going to use a pencil and just kind of trace or make crop marks for where I need to trim. Yes. Okay. And so like you see like how that tab sticks out. I have some little tab stickers that I think I may end up putting on. Um, so I'm just going to use my handy arc punch here and line it up. It's good in my can. Actually, I think this has a setting for a four, which is, um, or actually, it does have a setting for junior, which I think is the same. Let's... Right. I'm just going to kind of line it up where it's about centered. Not bad. way too high. What? What did I do? Oh. I punched nine holes. You know what, y'all? I'm keeping this part in because mistakes happen. So here, what happened was I wasn't paying attention and I punched nine holes instead of eight. So what I'm gonna do is use the washi tape that came with this bait box. I think, I think I'll go, I'm gonna try this one. And I'm going to run washi tape over these holes here. Now I have done this before when I have made mistakes. Um, so I'm hoping it will work here. I was not paying attention and you know it happened. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I like the scallop along the edge there. So I'm gonna just flip this piece around. It should remove pretty easily. Yes. Yeah, I'm just gonna line up the edge there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But it's uneven. I can see that it's uneven. It's very hard to get it. It's not that bad, actually. All right, guys, I think we saved it. Whoo, off to a great start here. Okay, well, I think I, think I saved it, so... We're good. So that's that was one. So now we have two more to do. Let's see if I can get this right from the jump this time. Now for this one, I'm going to cut it since it has text on it. I'm going to cut it this way. And I want to make sure to get that part. So I'm just going to draw some crop marks again. As far as the height, it's like perfect. Um... Like it's almost exact. So I gotta move this piece. It's messing me up here. There we go. Drum roll, please. And now if we don't screw up uh, with the punch, I think I think we have it now. I think I think I got it. Perfect. All right. Again, the extra sheets. I'm gonna put to the side because I know I will use them eventually. So I'm thinking about like layering these, you know, I think that would be cute. I could even use washi like on the corners. Um, so I think that's kind of cute. I mean, it's all cute. Like, are you kidding? Um, Ooh, it's hard to choose. Mm. Well, this one goes really well on that. So we can flip this and do that. But see, the punch is a little uneven because I intended for it to be like this. So, never mind. I mean, I could still put it there. But it also has... Hmm. I think I want this, this one on here. I, I like that. I think I want it. That's what I want. So what I'm going to do... I'm getting kind of low on my tape runner. So I'm going to stick with my handy dandy glue stick. All right. Ready or not. All right. What I love about this is I can kind of slide it around. Make sure it's at least semi-straight. 
That looks straight to y'all. What is that? Oh, it's that, like, what am I pushed on? It's this puffy Darth Vader sticker. Okay. Now, I need to add a little more glue. Or like a lot more glue, because it doesn't want to stick. I might have to resort to the tape runner. Maybe I just need to put it down on the paper as well. Yeah, I think I just needed to put it on the paper to really help it stick. And you can always go in and add more. Just kind of lift up on the corner and add a little more there. And then what I want to do is put a little of this on the corners. Now, I don't want the edges to be perfect. I want it to be like this. Um, I just think that's kind of cute. Like when you're doing, doing this, I think it's cute to have it kind of imperfect, you know. Do them on these two corners here. I think that's super cute. And what I think I'm going to do actually is instead of using these, because I normally use these and I put like a sticker here that says the month, I think I'm going to use these and um, put a tab on it. And I'll, I'll do that um, at the end to show you how I do that. But um, I really, I really like these. I think I'm going to just just stick with with these. I mean, why do I need anything else? You know, I'm just gonna, gonna get a little bit more. The corner doesn't want to stick down. Every time I use a glue stick, I'm just like transported back to second grade, and I love it because second grade was like my favorite grade of all time. <laughs> it's such a random thing, but yeah, I think that's really cute. And then this one I'm just going to keep alone because it's got the, the text there and it's super pretty. I'm just going to leave it alone. And then we have this, which is really pretty. Hmm. I don't think I want to. I think I'm going to keep it just like that. And so what I'm going to do with this one I'm, is, I don't know yet. So I'm going to stick it right here in my front pocket. And it will always be there. I love my little bat, but he's in my way. So he's going to go down here. Okay. All right. And so I have to decide how I want to use this. So this is a really cute folder that came with this month's bait box. And I am a little obsessed with it. There's so many like... There's so many places I could put this and so many ways that I could use it that I'm kind of torn. Um, I really am hesitant to like glue it down. I don't want to punch it. Um, I kind of want to, I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not sure yet. Um, but I'm just going to take this stuff out because I'm going to be using it. Yeah, it's hard. Like I don't. Like, there's a lot of things you could do. Like, I could use a tape runner and just put it down, and that way I could open it up or whatever. Um, I don't... I do wish this cover had a back pocket. Um, for now, we're going to stick her right there in the front. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. This will be, now again, the way that I plan, I only keep the months that I, that are like relevant to me right now. So like, I am only going to have, um, cause you know, now it's November, which is insane. This will be the November tab and this will be December. This is going to be extra paper and notes. And so 
what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to put these on the side because I'm not going to be using them because we don't need them. But I'm going to hold on to them because I can definitely use them in the future. And I'm going to take my new paper from Muse Lab and I'll start putting some in the back here for my notes section. I like to keep a lot of uh, spare paper. And this is also what I use for my actual like planning. So uh, when I'm ready to you know, do my layout for the week and sometimes it's social media planning, it ends up just being um, very functional and I will, I will show you that. Um, <laughs> I am a pretty functional planner when it comes to social media. But I also, um, I've been wanting to like make it look pretty because um, I think it can still be very functional, but also something that I like to look at when I open up the planner. So that's why I'm doing it this way. These are monthly inserts from Jane's Agenda that I ordered a while back. Um, and I just really wanted to have my monthlies already done. Um, and you'll see in a second for... November, um, that I already, I mean, I only put two things on. This was like months ago that I looked at it and I just put in random act of kindness day because I wanted to remember to do something on my social media for that. And then I also put that it's November, um, which is, you know, a, um, campaign for, uh, bringing awareness to men's health issues where, Men, uh, a lot of men will grow out mustaches, um, and that's, yeah, anyway, so, uh, <laughs> that's besides the point, but, um, I like to just keep my monthlies in here, um, just to kind of have a little bit of structure, because again, like, and if you've seen how I plan in my catch-all, in my classic size nine disc, um, you will know that I do my own layouts and with, again, like I said earlier, with social media planning, I can sometimes be very, um, very functional. <laughs> I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and here I have, I'm going to take out some of these, but, um, these are just some loose sticker sheets. I don't know why this one is here. Uh, <laughs> some loose sticker sheets, um, like reusable sticker paper from... Um, actually from the personality crisis babe box. What I'm going to do is I like to put that back in like this section where it'll just be kind of like extra paper. I like to just keep these in here. Uh, sometimes, you know, you just want to have some stickers on hand, um, especially for like bullet points and things. So I like to keep those in there. And then these I'm just going to save for another time. This is some paper I had. Uh, this is by ARC, like from Staples, and when I, I guess I got so excited when I was at the store, I was like, oh my god, they have dot grid! And I didn't even, like, realize how freaking huge the dots are, and I don't like it. I like, I much prefer little tiny dots, so. Um, and yeah, here, I can go ahead, put my extra paper. I am going to keep the paper. I'm, I mean, hey. I'm not going to get rid of it. I might end up using it one day. And then I also have just some line paper from also by ARC from Staples. And so if I ever feel like I want some line paper, I have that option as well. I'm going to show you what I had going on for October. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the November section because obviously November started on a Sunday, which was the same week that I was planning this. So right here after the monthly. I just kind of want to show you how I've been planning. Like I said, this is very functional. So what I've been doing is, and this is very recent, I'm still trying to figure out what the heck I want to do as far as planning for social media, because I've really been trying to find a balance. Um, and that balance is between planning out what I want to post and also being spontaneous. So for me, um, and I'm sure some of you can relate, I feel like sometimes when I start planning out everything, 
Um, so like say today I decided that on December 3rd I wanted to do a close-up picture of this washi just as an example. But then when the week comes um, that I had planned for that sometimes I'm like oh well actually I don't really want to do that right now and I have this idea for this other thing so I feel like sometimes I'll get like a real, you know, like a burst of creativity and I want to, you know, I come up with an idea like on the fly and I feel like if I have something written in my planner and then I don't do it, it can kind of like cause anxiety for me and I don't like that. And you'll see that, actually, let me, yeah, let me show you. So I was trying to pick uh, days to do things for YouTube. And I tried doing this because, um, a couple of YouTubers I watched mentioned that, you know, they're full, they're full-time YouTubers, which I'm not obviously, but, um, they have like dedicated days that they do certain things. And I understand how that would work for some people. And I wanted to try it. And I just don't think it's going to work for me because what ends up happening is you know say Tuesday is filming day like I said all right Tuesdays are filming days and then Tuesday comes along and I have like a real busy day you know at work or at home like just a lot of stuff going on or I'm having a really bad mental health day and I'm just not up to filming and then it just throws the whole week off and then I get stressed and this isn't supposed to be stressful I just want to keep track of everything that I need to do so I think what I am going to start doing, and I, you know, I tried it. You sometimes you don't know what's going to work until you try it. So you can even see um, with this on Instagram, I don't have dates. I just have things I want to post for that week, and I think that's just really what I need to focus on is um, making it more of like ideas and like I need to know, you know, what color background I'm going to use. Um, you know, different hashtags to use and keep track of things like that. But so it's really, I mean, yes, it's a planner, but it's kind of more like a notebook. Um, and it's just a way for me to kind of keep track of what I want and need to do. Um, but this whole, this whole thing with like filming on Tuesdays, editing on Wednesdays, isn't working. I, it's, I, it's just not going to work for me. So <laughs> that is what's going on. So you can see this is for the current week of uh, November 2nd through 8th. And I start with, in my head, like Monday is the beginning of the week. I know Sunday is the beginning of the week. Um, and like even in my monthly, you know, Sunday is the beginning of the week. But um, that's just how I like to do it in my head. But um, so you'll see like for this one, I just kind of wrote down um, the videos that I want to do for the week. So I didn't put a date to it. Um, I put, I wanted to do a plan with me and I want to use the blush baby babe box. And then I want to do, um, like a coffin paper inspired layout that I saw Katie did plans do. So I want to make note of that so that I can, you know, credit her, like, and remember those things. This, um, I want to do, you know, setting up my MCR B6 Traveler's Notebook. Uh, and then I wrote to put inserts and dashboards in the cover and shout out my friend Ainsley who did a Unleash the Bats. Um, I wrote mug. That was my other friend Kim did a mug for me. <laughs> I was half asleep when I wrote this, but she did an Unleash the Bats um, dashboard for me. So I wanted to like remember. So um, and then I can also, you know, set it up like checklist, like, you know, edit. Um, you know, just different things. So I'm still, I'm still like figuring it out. So I just wanted to share my process with you guys and, you know, maybe give you some ideas. Maybe I can get some ideas from you. Um, but I'm really trying to, I want to keep this fun because this is not my job. Um, and so, you know, I have a job, I have two jobs and, you know, when it comes to this, I want to be strategic, but I also want to leave room for my creativity to kind of flourish and, for me when I'm feeling really creative to just go with it uh, and not to put myself in a box, I guess. And so like for Instagram for this week, I know that I want to do before the pen uh, in my catch all and then promote my plan with me YouTube video. Um, I want to do a reels and do a flip through of my MCRB 6TN and then also um, talk about the YouTube video. 
that I'm doing and then take some washi Wednesday photos, not just for the current week, but to use in the future. Um, and so that's just kind of what I've been been doing. And now that I have Dockrid, I think it's going to be a lot easier for me to come up with different layouts that will work for me. You know, <clears throat> for me, oddly enough, um, for my social media planner, I actually don't keep the old stuff. I throw it out. Um, I guess just because it's so functional and I just feel like when I'm done with it, I'm done with it. I don't need it anymore. Um, I keep the monthlies, but I don't keep the, the actual notes in the weekly so just uh yeah I tried to like do something cute here but it was not working for me it was just not working like it's pretty but it wasn't working it wasn't functional for me for this so if it's not working then it doesn't matter how pretty it is okay so here's my September monthly that I barely use but I'm gonna hold on to it <laughs> but all these little notes I'm going to keep my August, and then I have my front here. So all of this I'm going to recycle. This is throwing me off. This, uh, I don't mind like the cover and like this stuff back here, but this for my little baby pocket, I think I want to take these off. But this one's getting kind of beat up anyway. Okay, so that was a disaster, um, but we we got it. It's definitely, my pocket's a little, um, she's a little damaged. She's got some, some imperfections, <laughs> um, but I want to keep some of these die cuts here in the front, and we got these lovely girls with the glasses. Ooh, I really like this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put this little bow right here. Ooh. That's pretty. Okay, that's good for now. Now something I could also do is laminate this, um, which I may end up doing. I'm not sure. Like I was kind of thinking about like putting some of these die cuts on these dividers and laminating them. Like how freaking cute is she? Yeah, I might end up laminating this. Yes. Oh, girl. adding more but for now I really I just like it the way it is plus I gotta save myself a few die cuts for <laughs> other stuff okay super happy with that approximately 10 hours later all right so um for you guys, that was instant, but for me, that was another, like, um, 20 minutes. So I decided to laminate all of these, and I think they look so much nicer. Um, and obviously, like, they're just 
they're just sturdier. Um, and I also went in and those die cuts I had in the front here, I actually, I actually laminated them too, um, but I haven't cut them out yet. So here's what we've got going on. I really like how it looks and feels laminated. It's very sturdy and very nice and just, just beautiful. I just love it. So I also went and got my tabs. So these tabs are Avery brand and I got these at Walmart. And what I really like about them is that they are reusable and you can move them like you can have them on just plain regular paper and they they don't like yeah I reuse them all the time um and so what I like to do uh to write on them is I like to use uh stickers usually so I'll put like a month sticker um on there just to you know so I can really uh reuse it and my handwriting is not the best, so <laughs> so yeah, you just you just kind of line it up. Alright, so I hope you like my setup. I am going to cut these out and put these back in the pockets, don't worry. <laughs> Just, I thought laminating them might be nice and I do think they look really nice. So um, if you would like to, you know, see me um, and kind of see how I plan uh, in my social media planner and see more of like a functional planning style, um, you know, and still try to make it cute. Um, be sure to subscribe. I will have up some videos um, on that. So I hope that you will uh, stick around and enjoy. And thank you for watching. I hope you like my new setup. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, I still, I wish I had something else other than gold discs because everything is rose gold. And I wish I had a clear sticker that says notes, but I might have one somewhere in my collection. I just have to look. Well, I look forward to uh, actually planning in this thing and filming some plan with me's for you guys. I hope you will, uh, you know, watch those and, and enjoy them. Um, I hope you like what I did with my blush baby, uh, baby box contents um, to kind of give my planner a fresh new look and really makes me excited to use it because it's, you know, pretty. It's just so pretty now. Um, and I'm really excited to start using these sticky notes and these stickers in here and using my new um, dot grid paper, which I need to move some back in November here. Um, <laughs> so I can actually start using it. Um, I'm really excited. Again, this paper is from Muse Lab. But anyway, I hope you guys... Uh, enjoy and stay safe and I will see you next time.